Hi, welcome back. This is the sort of view you would find in any heathland in uh, in England, Wales, East Anglia, Surrey Hills, where I on my doorstep, Headley Heath. It's it's just uh, these trees with with ivy and these winter trees. That's so attractive, and I'm, um, and I'm going to use this new pen of mine. I've ordered a pack of three of these, Derwent Graphic. And just give it a little shake. Oops, Ooh, my knee's off. They're really good, and the ones I've ordered are... Well, three of different, different sort of size nibs. So I'm going to just sort of just draw from that bit of a muddy path and have a couple of trees coming up here, old oaks. I'm going to do these with the with the mop, just put a of these in here. The light, let's have a sense, sense, sense of light, so we're just painting or draw, even drawing at this angle is, is quite formidable because of the angle of the board, the pen, the thing wants to flow down but not sort of horizontally. So we'll just put another one here. I'll try and do this all with the mop. So very, very sketchy. And we'll just have some distance. Very faint. And some grasses. Not too much drawing, just and, and across here we're just going further back into this watery scene. We'll put some more winter trees. It's just, just been imagine it's just been raining. Very cartoony, very bit of inky work. Something like that. We can put some nice ivy and some bit of scrubby. These are sort of going off into the distance. Over here. So a guy just walking here with a bit of uh, bit of this and a bit of that. Right, okay, that that will do. Something something like that with just a bit of grassy stuff. Stuff. Okay. I'll dry that off, make sure it doesn't smudge. I'll use the, the mop. Uh, I'll just dry this off for them. Right, we'll uh, wet all over, more or less. So let's just get a nice water, a lot of water in the mop. Oh, it's a lot of water. 
but leave some of it just a bit unpainted, a bit unwet, wetted, and a bit of a grey, grey sky. And we come into the horizon there, just. And we'll paint some of that colour in the foreground. Okay, a nice wet in wet, and I'll give that a bit of a dry, just a mute. Don't want it too dry, I want some mist, so a bit of blue, a bit of grey and a bit of yellow for some nice distant wintry colours here. Okay, we can detail into that in a minute. And let's get some warmer darks. Well, warm uh, branches, branchy things. So a bit of burn umber, a bit of Payne's grey, a bit of sienna, a bit of yellow, a bit more of that. Okay, so let's just put a bit of blue behind that. Okay, bit of ivy, bit of blue, bit of yellow. And I'll paint the uh, trees into that. All very mysterious ivy, grows up everything in the UK over roofs, barns. Oh, a bit of, bit of sienna in there, bit of sienna. And uh, we've got some green, so blue, grey, sienna. that blue in there. Oh, that bit's a bit weak. Right, I'll just paint around him. Okay, now some nice green in here. So we're coming into the foreground. This grey. Oh, we want autumny stuff just coming into here. And a bit more shadow, shadowy colour. Flashing the mop around. Well, this is all be sort of cartoony type of. Oh. Right, let's uh, get into this. Water over the other side on the to the, the right. Well, uh, a bit of a bit of yellowy. I 
could have got a bit uh, darker with that sky, couldn't I? But uh, but never mind. Let's uh, get into the uh, cool reflections in. In here. Then we'll get some harder edge stuff in there, in the uh, in, in this landscape, in the foreground. But I just want to get this uh, this here now. We'll just So I get flick the uh, these branches with the finest bit of the tip of this brush. colour going in there. There's a very dark bluey, bluey green. All in the mat, in the matted undergrowth. Okay, let that go there. Let's go to the other side now. Put these grey trees in here. Very free way of painting, but it it does seem to suit them up. But you've got to work really fast, well, I find. Okay, let's uh, get in some warmer shadows in here. Tangled, just grasses, twigs, but keeping a lot unpainted. Oh, it's just just guessing this. Oh, just a little light wash of the. Uh, Background colour, that burnt sienna. Okay, let's just get that a bit stronger in the this bit here. Try to get your reflection more or less where they sort of go underneath. All just slurred in. We'll put a dry brush over the back here. Right, now we're going to do that. Well, we're going to do some, some painting in there. That's sort of bluey grey. Try to get a bit of an air of mystery and okay, a bit, bit, 
blue just in this little bit here and Let that dry a bit, just do a little bit more detail in the right hand side. That'll do me now. Just trying to create an impression of, of a lot going on with a minimum of painting. Okay, my favourite mix is a burnt sienna and paints grey. So let's put in some. Grass is sticking up here. Man, a little bit of bit of red, I think, but a dullish light red. So nice. Right, we'll have to put him a little bit of a there. Right, I'm going to not do very much more to that. Uh, don't really think there's a lot I can. Well, perhaps just a little bit of warmer dry brush on here. Bring a bit closer to that one, it's just a bit too pronounced, but never mind. We're sketching, we're practicing our sketching. Me, I need it. Right, a uh, pen, uh, sign it, and I'll put it in the mount. Whoop, look, oh, look, that's interesting, isn't it? Okay, we'll put in the mount. Now it's not a masterpiece, we're not into masterpieces at the moment. We're into creating something with a sp something spontaneous. Let's put that on it, that's quite a nice clean one. Okay. Uh, Something very sketchy, which is the whole exercise. So there we are, we've, we've got, you can see the line, 
plenty of it and just washed in with simple colours and simple masses. Maybe I could have gone a bit darker in some of these areas here but but hey we're all learning. Uh, a little bit muddy there but I feel quite I quite like that the counter change there that, that is quite okay. Right let's zoom in and we'll have a look. So there's a the distance and then we've got this uh, bank on the left hand side and very sketchily drawn trees. So remember this wasn't meant to be an exercise in exactitude, it's an impression of free painting, free drawing and I think the man is uh, quite okay, he's, he's large enough, he's sort of in scale Maybe it could have been a little bit bigger compared to those, but hey, I like him. I like him because he's, he, he was very simple. Just a few lines, just a, a squiggle, a few squiggles. We got it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.